Now then, we've come to Chapel on Frith. I will explain what we're doing here in a few moments when the train's gone. We've had six car formations here in the past. Next stop books up for this one, it doesn't stop at the balls, so we got off here. Another four signals. You'll see the climb there, can't you now? It's quite a stiff climb up to the balls. Just beyond. Looks like the signal box is still in use there with being semaphores and whatnot. Right, now then, we are going to walk to Chinley from here. And um, we'll head off this way. Uh, right, now we're here at Chapel on the Frith um, because the train from Manchester to Sheffield, the local service, 8.49, was cancelled. And rather than sit around in Manchester Piccadilly for another hour, um, I decided to uh, come here. I had thought of going off at New at New Mills Newtown, just walk across to New Mills Central, but that's three quarters of a mile if that, that's not much over half a mile. So I thought we'd um, have, a sh have a slightly longer walk and, uh, and do it from Chapel on the Frith to Chinley, because obviously then we don't need to wait on another train until we've actually had done business in Chinley. So of course I've got, got the uh, usual butcher shop to Henschel's while we're there and then work our way back either going back via Manchester or via Sheffield we shall see nothing is yet set in stone I'm hoping to have some fish and chips in Chinley as well because that chip shop hopefully might be open when we get there it'll only take us about an hour or just over to walk from here to Chapel on the Frith uh, according to Google Maps so uh, we've actually got about an hour and 40 about an hour and a half an hour and 40 before that chip shop opens so um we'll make a start and um and then walk over to chinley i haven't got the drone with me because obviously i was only intent on going straight to chinley and straight back uh and then going out later with the drone so anyway let's switch cameras and now we're looking towards manchester where we've just come from look at the gradient marker here one in 58 down there that is steep is that for a train in fact one in fifth one in 50 is that is hardly level anyway um this is the station looking towards Buxton. Now there is something I will um, point out. We've been here before a time or two, but the last time, if I remember rightly, was when I did a live broadcast on Facebook. Obviously we're not on that now, which I'm sure most of you probably know. Uh, I just jacked it in at the beginning of 2019 in January because I just had enough of it. So uh, yeah, this is in memory of driver John Axon. GC and he got the GC which is George Cross um, because of an accident that happened here back in 1957 so it's what 60 50 oh, 57 I think I can't remember it was 60 some years ago and this is it that is the locomotive it's an 8F and it ran away Initially only very slowly, but uh, it certainly picked up some speed and it crashed here quite violently. It did. I'll just uh, scan that, then you can read it. If you want to pause it, of course. If you need to pause it to read it, obviously just do that. And uh, so this is the accident. The driver stayed on the locomotive to try and fix it, even though it was almost certainly going to crash and it did because I've read about that accident I have right there's quite a few waiting for the service into Manchester on the opposite side by the looks of it signals are still at danger yet so it's obviously not uh, not due for a bit right let's head out of the station and uh, get walking over to Chinley so it's about the only station here with a foot crossing. It's amazing. There's not many left now with foot crossings. I think Silverdale was one of them on the Barrow line. So yeah, that's obviously the only access to the opposite side. We want to be down here now, don't we? We do. Last time I walked down there and it was a bit muddy and I haven't got me walking boots on, so I didn't think I was gonna actually do this. 
So let's walk down the road. Right, I've just come down that road from the station, which is just up there, and it looks like that path might be closed actually or unavailable because there's done some work here. Now, this line here is, is not the Buxton line, although it does go that way. It is the old Midland Main line through Millersdale to Matlock and Derby and St Pancras ultimately towards the, to the right behind me. So, yeah. There you go. You know that was? Yeah, and s yeah, whatever. It's like an invisible policeman, isn't it? I thought it was a warning for a train then, but anyway. Right, this is a bridge underneath the old Midland main line. Which is still partly used, of course, for freight. So this actually wasn't the original driveway to Chapel on the Frith Station because the LNW line was put in first and then this came later. It did. But uh, we can't see where the original alignment was now. Right, so at the bottom of the road now, and we're going to go left. We've been mostly walking along roads, is this rather than paths? We'll, we'll do the odd path, I'm sure, at some point. But uh, obviously, we're having not having the best footwear on. It'll be better. So, just down here now, through lower crossings. There was a path here, actually. <laughs> not that it just take us back up towards the station, or that, I would think. Well, it doesn't look like anything's coming on that bridge over there because that's again the Midland main line. Could have been a 156 or 150 unit on the other line. Anyway, that's Chapel on the Frith High School just there. Now we're going to just go down this path just here a short distance. I went straight down and turned left last time. We'll go down here just a short distance just to get away from the road for a bit. Good to come here when there's a special on that, uh, especially steam like we did before on the uh, on the Buxton Freight Line, the Forest Line. So there's a little bit of a dog leg just here. So right, it should bring us out opposite the right turn, which will then be a straight forward for us. Right down here now. Right, I'm not taking the same route as I did three or so years ago. I'll uh, go down here now. There's a viewpoint further up, which might be good to get to if I can. It's just off a, a road further up here. Just alongside some houses here and the football field for the school. There's some people there actually, some kids. Football training, probably. Who knows? Right, just come out the path to the right of that gate, and it says no access up there, private, no footpath. But I don't see why you can't just walk through if you needed to. Anyway, we don't matter. We can go down this way. I'll go over to the right. Through here. It's nicely signed. Right, there's another path which branches off to the right a bit further down. There's a golf course. Golf. Right, someone has just whacked a golf ball off the course and it's landed here. So we'll be very kind to them and chuck it back. Oh, it's pink. Was it magenta? 
go from they got that from Sports Direct. I think they were very grateful. Saved them a lost ball. Anyway, let's continue. Right, straight over the golf course now. Yeah, so yeah, watch out in case anyone shouts for. We need to be careful. Right, there's a path down there which we don't want. We want to go more over this way. We do. So yeah, you can see they were playing golf down there. Over this way, it's not very clear, is it? Where we're supposed to walk. Unless it's these yellow posts. This is straight down there. That's the other path. Quaint little bridge. Now we're on the right path. There's a lake here. Don't think it'll be swimmable. Let's check it out. It's dry. Oh, no, there's a bit of water there. Very, very little. Anyway, let's go where that tree is up there with yellow mark on it. Right, just come down there to here. And uh, not sure where any railway lines are now. But uh, we'll go this way now to this gate here, to the left, then right, straight up. This is easy style to stride over. To the to the right down here now. I knew I should have packed my walking boots. Well, they're not too mucky at the moment, but I bet they'll get muckier. It's supposed to be a decent pair of trainers, these. Ah, ah, you can see the footpath, uh, little footpath sign. Right, so they're right here now. Oh, somebody's left a set of glasses, who could be careless enough to do that? Let's go down here. Right, Bradshaw Hall Farm is up here somewhere now, so we we'll head for that. I think we're going to go to the left once we get there. We might have some gradients to climb up here, some altitude to get for this viewpoint. Then we'll just drop down at the Chinley. Not massively far. But as I said, we got a good hour and a half from when we got off the train at, Chin at Chapel Hummer Frith to, uh, to get to Chinley. Because I'm have fish and chips in that chip shop if it's open. Right, just come to the gate there. And this is supposedly Bradshaw Hall Farm. Not sure where the path goes though. A bit difficult to see. It sort of turns left and right here. Well, we got the left side. Let's see if it goes through here. Oh, it never goes through there, surely. No, it definitely does not. I thought it might have gone through there, but anyway. Oh, I hate it when this happens. And there's no signs, and it just seems to just go no. Oh, hang on, down there. Oh. Put that back on. Right, 
right. <laughs> Look at the confusing arrows. Straight up there. So it's up this way. Mostly. Looking back again, we're uh, oh, quite away from Chapel the Frith now. And uh, Woodside Farm's just here, so we've got this path here now. And this will take us to the to the road, I think. There's a train there in the distance. And then the books and service, I assume. Probably be an hour behind the one we got. Yeah, let's keep going. Right, we actually went slightly off the path there, but it's a slight bit of a shortcut, if anything. Save going right through that farm. It did. And anyway, going up here now to this gate and straight up. Right, just come past the farm down there and up here through this stile, and we're now heading this way towards us up here so on the road for a bit now so it's easy walking the viewpoint according to the map is just up to the left a bit further whether we'll actually be able to get off the road and see it i don't know but uh, it's quite a good view from where we are now looking to the right there's chapel on the frith somewhere down there i think or is it it might be further up actually now then, we've come up here, and this viewpoint is up there, and it looks like you can get to it. Let's do it. Hi. Yes, I fully intend to check it out. You're walking up as well. Oh dear. Coming through. <laughs> Right, I didn't think we were going to do this, but seeing as we're here and it's doable, we'll do it. And what's this sign say? George Highly Sugden. Oh, he's not long since he died. 2006, in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the conservation work of the National Trust in the Peak District. Shall you read the rest of it if you want? Let's have a look. Let's see what's... It's a 360 degree viewpoint. It's pretty good. And that's Chinley down there. Train. Getting to the east of the station in the footbridge. No, oh, it's a dual there's a dual carriageway down there. It's quite well hidden actually. Is that? Anyway, let's have let's have five or ten minutes. There's a what is it one there, isn't it? Uh East Midlands. It looks like it looks like it's pushing a northern service. Let's zoom in and see if it stops at Chinley. Just look at this, 360. That's good as, if we go up a bit higher it is. Right, this is the actual point here. Shows you where, oh, it's facing north now, yeah, aren't we? Chinley. And uh, east, south. Can't see the sun very well though. And west. So I'll face north again, that's there which is Chinley obviously. So we'll head down there shortly. And just a quick panorama to the right. It's, not, actually, it's just a video, it's not a panorama photograph. I don't think we're going to do that really. Right. So apologies.
feels as if you're getting slightly seasick. But what a view. That is pretty good. And it's excellent. I wouldn't mind being over there on that top of that peak over there. That'd be quite a good view. Anyway, let's um, head back down now and uh, we'll continue on to Chinley. Right now we've just been up the hill there to have a look around. So we're going to walk on to Chinley now. We're only about half a mile, three quarters away from Chinley, the way the crow flies. So we'll head down that way now and get to Henschel's and then the fish shop or tea on the green. We'll see. Not this is in that order. I might only go do two. I'll go to Henschel's obviously because that's no point coming in not doing that. And then we'll get some food and get the next Seville train on to either Sheffield or back to Manchester. Okay, so let's keep going. Just seen a train to the left, but can't see it because of all the trees. You might see it a bit further down here. Hadn't planned to bring the drone, so can't see. Ah, it might do that. It won't go over that viaduct. Now oh, there it is, right in the distance. It's an old and a newer East Midlands formation. I think it's a 156 and a 158 heading for, I would imagine, Peterborough, because uh, they're not running to Norwich. Yeah, it's gone in the curve now, because those viaducts are on the old Midland main line. Yeah, we got a good drone shot there last time we were with the drone. Coming up to Lydgate, which I don't know if it's a village or a farm. Anyway, doing a, a left now, just back on ourselves very briefly. Nice bench here if you've got sandwiches, but we haven't. So anyway, let's keep going. Plenty of time. The fish and chip shop opens in about 10 minutes. So probably make for that straight away, actually. Let's use the gate. That little time is a bit uh, small for us. Right down here, and then we take a left. I saw you right, left here, then right. So on the map, it's road used as a public footpath, which it's not entirely wrong, but I think you can't get much more than a quad bike on here. And certainly can't press to drive a vehicle of any other sort down here. Far too rough. Right, there is a straight on this point ahead but uh, I don't want it to go that way so it'll just take us back up to where we've been virtually from the other side of that viewpoint so we'll go to the right yeah bridle way oh no I was saying the fence to oh, never mind it's not uh, not gonna be of our concern because I've got a mechanically propelled vehicle with us only feet Having to lose height now, of course, because of the height we've been up at. It's got it. Twenty-two and eight minutes for the fish and chip shop up here. Right, let's get down here to the fish and chip shop. Now that's the path we've just descended down from Lydgate and it said no propelled vehicles didn't it or something like that and there it says there look there byway open to all traffic so I think one rather can fix the other. Now I had thought of going down that way that up there is an old alignment of this road that we stood on now which don't go anywhere you probably have to walk through but anyway, we're going to walk this way and turn right onto another path just a short little path which will take us uh, down across the towards the dual carriageway, which of course you can hear the dual carriageway now. There's obviously a lot of traffic on it. I suppose it was needed, but it's spoilt the uh, landscape round here quite a lot. It has. You have to have buried it in a tunnel, didn't they? That'd have been better. This is it. This is the path. So we'll go down here to the right. Thought it was uh, 
blocked in or something, but anyway, it's not. Let's just shut the gate. Keep the country code as it should be. Oh dear. Oh. Right. Oh, it's a bit wet down here, damp. Just come through this gate now here. So we're quite open here now. Look what it is now. It's all in shrouded in trees. That's a very serious trip hazard that wasn't it, which we managed to avoid. Huh. And here we are, out in the open again. So it's just down the end turn right now. So where's the footpath looking back here? Yeah, it's just to the left of that gate. Right, to the right. Some walkers. It says their footpath left as well, doesn't it? Right. Not very far at all now. We we'll have some fish and chips. Afternoon. Oh, not quite. Morning still. Oh, hello. Hi. It's only half past ten. Half past eleven, rather. Just after. Said afternoon because quite often at this time when we've done so such a long walk now as this, it usually is afternoon. But we had a, a very early set off, just before seven. We did. I wonder if they're lost. We're going left down over the dual carriageway. That couple were just trying to find Eccles Road, which is where we were. Um, on the, whatever that viewpoint was, that was just off Eccles Road. I know it sounds like we're in Norfolk, but we're not. Derbyshire. Second only to Yorkshire. In fact, it probably even ties with Yorkshire. It's Derbyshire. Fantastic. If you ever get the Tour de France back, they'll have to do it in Derbyshire one day. One really would. Or even Cumbria. All the best places in England. Right, this is that dual carriageway now, which is uh, obviously, um, well, it's what it is, isn't it? It's here. This is a great shame it was ever built, but it takes a lot of traffic away from the villagers. It's just a shame it's a blot on the landscape compared to what it was about 40, 50 years ago or more. some free range eggs but uh, I think we'll get some eggs in Chinley not sure what village this is it's not quite Chinley yet there's a defibrillator in that phone box there there is and uh, anyway we're heading down this way and there's a nice pub here called the the paper mill inn but uh, I don't think we've got time to go there yet it's gonna have some fish and chips in Chinley as I've said for the umpteenth time I'm going to give you a bit, a bit more time. I might have nipped in there. It's only about half a mile to go now. Not very far at all. So we'll come up the road where that carpet place is with that on our left as we approach Chinley. And see on the green to the right, just after the junction. That's how we shall actually enter Chinley. Right, last time we did this walk from Chapel on the Frith to Chinley, we came out here, down this path. The weather wasn't great. I mean, it's not perfect now by any means, but uh, yeah, so we just sort of came out here and just turned right to come down here. It says the sign saying Chinley up ahead now. So yeah, that's what we did about three or so years ago. Maybe three, maybe four, it was. Because I did most of it and beamed it live onto Facebook, but uh, at least said about that, the better. I don't want anything to do with Facebook anymore. I think, I think I'm not so sure that even more people coming off that now and going on it because they're so loony lefty. 
and ultra PC, which is totally wrong, totally crap. Yeah, the new housing estate looks like it's completed up there now. Yeah. Right, yeah, chilling in the high peak. We're just about here now. The village is at the top of the hill now. We're there. We're here. This is Chinley, and there's the carpet place on our left. Tea on the greens just up there to the right, just past the phone box, and the chip shop is down there, along with Henschel's. So we'll go to the chip shop first. So yeah, this is that carpet place. Not sure it's open or not. Because Chinley's a bit of a three-day, a sort of three-day working week here, just sort of Thursday, Friday, and a bit on Saturday. It's long, but where's the fish shop? Hi. That's the WI Hall. There's a gathering in there. Right, let's get the chip shop. Let's see if this guy starts singing. Because there's been some reviews on Google about some guy singing in this chip shop. It's on this side of the road, so we're fine here. Coming through. Right, Chippy of Chinley. Let's do this. Open. Hi. Oh. Hi. Right, we've got our food now. Now, because they do cod as standard, we've decided to just pass on that. But they do do scampi, so check this. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Right, that was fantastic, Chippy of Chinley. Highly recommended. Let's get on to Henschel's and get a chicken and some burgers and whatnot, and then we'll head back to the train station and conclude this walk. This is a train in about well, a good 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, so don't want to mess about too much. This is where we've been before a few times, Henschel's. Let's do it. That was a bit of a letdown there. We couldn't get a chicken. Sold out. <laughs> what a twat. Anyway, never mind. Let's get up to the station. I'll get a chicken somewhere else. Even if we just nip into Morrison's or something like that, or saying there's that way home. We'll get one. Not promising my faithful friend a chicken dinner and not giving them one. So, we've been here many times, been the past. But uh, we shall do it again. Not got very long to wait, only a good 10 minutes. Red X station. Because there's only steps to access the whole station, so it's completely inaccessible. To anyone abnormal. Anyway, here we are. We can do steps. Just a shame about the water. So the Sheffield Trail will be the first one. There's been a few cancellations today, aren't you? Not just the one we were on. It's cancelled coming all the way back through. But this is the same train three hours later and it's running. So yeah, oh well, the next Sheffield train's running as well an hour later. Ah, our train is here. Not sure if it's the same one we uh, were waiting for at Manchester Piccadilly. But, uh... Okay. 
perfect for my chin lane. Let's head on to Sheffield. That is the triangular formation now with the former Midland main line. The opposite side is coming in uh, just, uh, just ahead here. So that was Chinley uh, North Junction, this is Chinley East Junction and that's the line from Peak Forest. Oh, Hope Derbyshire of course. This is Benford. Told you it reminds me of that football player that plays for Leeds United. There's this place now. You see um, kids coming to Sports Direct with uh, Bamford on the back of the shirt. I just think of this place. Off we go again. Thought I'd get off a Grindle for that shit, but not sure we'll do. Can really do we get this stuff up? and head into the tunnel. We'll be back on the opposite side in about half an hour or thereabouts, maybe 35, 40 minutes. I know I've had fish and chips already, but I'm going to hit that cafe again. I've gone to Flowers are nice, look at these. Last time we were here, now it's when we did that Dana skirt, wasn't it? I remember rightly. Didn't actually make any reference to that in the video. So let's have a wander up to the uh, calf. And have something like a, a cup of tea and a donut or whatever. Double back with that train, it's just gone. We'll get it on the way back here and nip back to nip onto Weedale. Again, just to kill time, it was down that way where we came with just down there where that uh, the van was scraping the floor. If I remember that, there's some lorry that scraped the floor because it was rather long for the road, anyway. That's the calf, and that's the fundamental orifice, Totley Tunnel. Second longest in the country, only, only seven tunnel beats it. Let's get to the calf. Right, I've decided to just flag the next train now. Um, the itinerary changes again. I'm going to have a walk up to Grindleford Village. Have we never been here before? That's not the path behind me as such, but we might come back down that way. Um, I'm going to go up the road there, up that way and that will take us to Grindleford Village. So we'll just set view ranger going again and um, see how far I walk. So it's uh, a bit parked up is this uh, road here. It's official though, it's, uh, it's allowed. It's not double yellow lines and there's actually a parking meter up here so you gotta pay. 
Um, not sure whether the bus came down here that time on that replacement bus job. Because we did a when we did a walk from Grindleford to Johnfield oh some years ago now. Over 10, probably about 13, 14 years ago. And uh, whatever. This is the parking meter. Doesn't look like it's working. Yep. Okay. Right, top of it, it's just an easy ride straight down to the village. Sounds like the Trans Pennine service has just gone through. So we'll have an hour. Shouldn't take a boat anything above that. Right, just left there is where the station is. Uh, there's a bus stop there. That might be the replacement bus stop, actually. Because uh, it said something about replacement bus are stopping here. And there's a pub called the Maynard. Just here, so that's quite nice. Fairly large. But it seems we've eaten already and we've had a cup of tea and a slice of flapjack. I think we've got to keep off the food for a bit. Looks like a hotel actually as well rather than just a pub. Going to weddings as well. Hardly surprising a site of place that size. Station's just round there, so we just come down that way, another bus stop, and then uh, this is the footpath I want to take here. We'll come back up the road a little, just for a bit of speed, because the path is going to just add a few moments on. Oh! Go on, get in there. Got it. Right. Down this way. Not very well signed that, I thought it was actually just a entrance to a substation. We've only walked a few miles anyway so far today, about five, well probably, over, probably six by now. Just passed a couple up there, I'm not sure where they were going to, but anyway, uh, down here we're going now. This will take us back to that road where we just uh, came off earlier. Afternoon. Now at the end of the path now, and here we are. This is the village of Grindleford. Oh, the shop tea coffee. What's this? Uh, uh. Don't look like there's a shop up there at all, does it? Anyway, go back up the road, back to the station. Let's have a little look down here, where the river is. This is Grindleford Village. A little bit of a walk to the station. There's a river here now. So what it will be. There's another path down here as well, isn't it? There's loads of paths. There it is. So it's tempting to actually do what we did with railway lines years ago with footpaths now as much as we can. And that's to walk as many footpaths and ink them in with a highlighter. Here we are. Oh, I think it's a bit too shallow to swim. It's not deep enough in that. And if it is deep enough, it'll be too fast flowing. So I'll have a few minutes or so walking around here, then we'll go back. It hasn't been taking very long to get down here at all, has it really? I wonder what buses stop here. Oh, timetable on this one. 65 and 65A. It's not exactly a 10 minute service, is it? 
five times a day. Same on a Sunday, five times every day. Oh, no phone, no defibrillator. Oh, coins not accepted here. Well, I don't really think anything is accepted there at all. But there's not a lot down that way, so we'll go up there just a short distance and come round and loop back round where the traffic lights are down there. The cutlery factory, which the sign behind me is referring to, that does mean up here, and it's right over at Hathersage, so I'm not going to do that today. We'll do it next time we come. Might have a walk on from Hathersage to Bamford or something like that. Skill time if we do Chinley again. So William Hotel. Hmm. Strange that to think that his surname's Hotel. Wonder any other people have got Hotel as a surname. Looks quite nice. Is it open? Uh, maybe. Not now. It's not. Anyway, let's have a little wander down the right to Green King. Uh, what's it, isn't it? Right, I'll go back down that way in a moment. She has a war memorial just there. And uh, what looks like a church or a chapel. That will eventually go over to Hathersage. So we'll go down this way. This will take us back down to the... Uh, Back down to the main road where that river bridge is. <clears throat> See ya? Yeah, it looks nice, does that? Sir William Mattel. Doesn't look like it's open or in use at the moment, but it might be. Well, it is, it's close for refurbishment, but who knows? If we go away somewhere, we don't tend to stay this close to home, do we? Because it's so easy to do in a day. So the scenery around here is pretty good. It really is nice. Because this is the uh, sort of eastern end of this area that I like, between Grindleford and Edale. It is. So, I've just come down that path. And we're back to the post office, which is uh, somewhere here. Thought there was a post office. That bus stop says Grindleford Post Office on it. And so does that other one there, is that one? So where the actual post office is, I don't know. Not that we need it anyway, let's um, just get back around here now. Cricket Club. Oh, that's the cricket. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> Could have to a little bit economical soon with battery power on here because it's getting a bit low now. This is the opposite side to the bridge. Looking upstream. I say it's not a sort of swimmable river. It's not. A bit awkward walking on this side, but anyway. I wouldn't mind having to walk down there, but it's gonna take us the wrong way. I've just circumnavigated this building, which again looks a bit like a church. This is the community shop now here. Let's have a wonder, see what they sell. Hiya. Yeah. How's it going? Ah. Right, I just passed the entrance to the station, which is down to the left. I thought we'd walk down that steep path. Come out right by the calf. Got a drink of water now from that shop in, in Grindleford. <coughs> Another train knocking about. Probably the Cleethorpes, I guess. 
if it's going eastbound. How high up we are now compared to the road down to the station. That's descending, this is ascending. So of course it magnifies it. So it should be a little cut off somewhere to the left. That'll take us straight down to the station. I just thought we'd do this to kill time and also to take a slightly different route back to see where we went when we did that walk to Dromfield. No, I just missed it, but 65 bus went past just a few moments ago. Stagecoach do it. Right, now then there's a little bit of a lift. Ah, here we are. This is it, down there footpath now we uh, came up there obviously that time and we must have gone we must have gone up that a bit of a dead end street up there i think when we went over to drumfield it's a long time ago anyway let's get down here preferably without falling in a lot of nettles we've already gone ace over apex already and we'll do it again yeah. not as steep as i thought it was this is some steps a bit further down. And it could be slippery as well. Move the few. So the trains I've got on aren't got not very good grips. Oh, it's not too bad actually, I thought it was steeper than this. So bring us out right by that calf again. Oh, it's a shame gravity is so strong. A bit less, it'd be just great, wouldn't it? Right. Here we are. I say I walked up there last time. Back by the calf again. Right, let's get onto the platform for Manchester. Stop view Ranger again. And then uh, we'll wait for the train. We've got about eight minutes, so I leave Sheffield 14 14. I'm not going back in there now for anything else, so we'll just wait down here. No drone to play with, of course, today, because I say I thought I was going to go back earlier and get it, but anyway. Doesn't matter on this occasion. Right. Back on Grindleford Station. Something's coming, it's a Trans Pennine. Double formation. So our train should be behind that one now. Eastbound service to Nottingham. See the curvature of this end now. It's mostly straight, but slightly curvaceous. Now I've just heard something about a steam tour. Whether it's going to come back this way or not, I don't know. We'll find out once they get on this. We'll check it out. So this is one nine five one two seven on the fourteen uh, fourteen Sheffield Manchester.
go to Edale with this one, then jump off there and have hopefully about half hour, 40 minutes, then head to Sheffield. While leaving the train here, mind the gap between the train and platform edge. Seeing you just round here, yeah. approaching Edale now and I'm determined one day to walk right up and over those hills because you can actually walk onto Glossop uh, or Hadfield and Dinsing onto end of Woodhead line up that way. You can't do it. It's got to be done one day. Which I'm right, it's looking towards Manchester, which I've just been from earlier. So we'll see this train head off and then uh, head into the village. Right, this is heading off to Manchester Piccadilly. A little bit behind, but not long. Slight improvement on the pacer, but who knows. Right, let's have a little look around Edale village. It's been quite a while since we've last been here. So uh, let's have a look around the village. In fact, I don't think I've been here since the start of the COVID nonsense. Anyway, we're here, so let's have a wander. Oh, have we got it? Let's get a, let's get a what's it. I might have got one already, but we'll make sure. I'll just take whatever. Now, one way, continue. Print vouchers. Just in case we haven't got one from Edale. It has been a while since we've been here. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Down this way. There's a bit of a rough bit of a map there. That is the start of the Pennine Way up there, which goes right up to, uh, I don't know, Kirk Yetum or something, isn't it? In Northumberland. Hell of a walk to do the whole lot. There's various different eateries around here, because you get a lot of walkers here, and the Blue John Caverns are not very far away. I think that's over to the right. I think last time we got off here, I think we did a walk to Dovels, if I'm not much mistaken. So that goes up to the side towards the Rambler pub. We'll have a look down here first. It's obviously on the back on the other side to get back to Sheffield. Oh, wants to sell ice creams. Right, that shop did sell ice cream. Check this out. Cherry Bakewell ice cream. Look at that, eh? Mmm, beautiful. Musical biker. He went up a few minutes ago. So I thought I'd film that. Right, walking back to the train station now. This is the Rambler Inn, where we've been before quite a number of times, but I thought I'd let everybody else have a go this time, rather than trying to add to it. So yeah, look how busy it is. It's pretty good, is that? Anyway, let's uh, head to the train station now for the train to Sheffield. So we're staying on this side. <coughs> it's good because you can say, sit on the tables there and just look across and watch the trains go past. Oh, it's, start, it's starting to rain a bit now. What a, what a bastard. Right, up this way now. The station. Uh, must have much about that, but think. Right, yeah, up this way. We've not actually gone on the little pedestrian tunnel. I think last time I went in there, a lot of kids in there because they were doing some school residential. It's ideal for that here. It is. That's the little path again there. Anyway, we'll go up this way onto the platform. I'm not recording any view ranger now because we just went just a few hundred yards. Jeff Marshall and Vicky Pipe got off here, didn't they, when they did all the stations back in 2017. That's Sheffield anyway, that way. 
that's Manchester. In fact, there's a train coming now. Uh, it's a bit early, so this is probably an express. There's a train coming now, actually, but it's a bit early for hours, isn't it? It's an express. Right, so our train is approaching. So we'll go on this one straight through the Sheffield. Uh, cross country to Leeds and it leads to Cottingley, hopefully. So we should uh, manage to get through now. Ellie Swift are back home. It's starting to rain, it's getting colder now, don't forget it is September. Okay, another 195, another new one. Rather busy here at Edale. Field. The next stop is Dorn. Dorn and Topley. Anyway, yeah, so at Grindleford now, and we're going to go on with it to Sheffield. So it's the case of just change there, Sheffield and Leeds. We'll get the cross country service if we can, hopefully. It's currently on time. And then uh, head home at a reasonable hour since we set off early. So we're now going to head into the um, long tunnel. Totley Tunnel. Sheffield, that's our train we're just coming on, getting off at the other side of course, so uh, we're going to have a wander around now to platform one I think it'll be for the uh, Newcastle train. This is our next train, Newcastle. Just to leave, just two stops, it's out of this other 195 so we'll go on the one that's a bit quicker. Right, on the move again, heading for Leeds direct by Warthorpe. So we're just behind the Nottingham Leeds, but I say, whilst that's right at Barnsley, we'll overtake that one. We should overtake the other one at, uh, whilst that's in Rotherham Central. Row 
Dawson now. I don't know where that was, that was in the touch of frost. That's the River Calder, this is the 99 Arch, is it? Yes, Rawson was done with the meat factory in the touch of frost some years ago. So just one intermediate stop for us at Wakefield Westgate, then on to Leeds. Should easily do that uh, 1717 Wigan. <coughs> changes now at last minute. That would be ironic, wouldn't it? And still that crossover there hasn't been used for a while. Can't work out whether something has used it just, just an odd once or something like that. But I don't know why they just won't use it. Right, that's our next train just pulling in there into platform 13. We're going into 12. So no need to cross the footbridge. So that's the one we next need, that 158 and a dog box. It's ironic the conductor said we're gonna go in platform eight. I just I just knew that wouldn't happen after saying it's sod law. So we're crossing to 12. Now, listen to announcement now. Good afternoon customers. I've just been advised, advised by the driver that the signal has changed his mind. We are now arriving into platform 12. Yeah, this train yeah, will be arriving into platform Destroyer. 12. Scarborough Man Vic. Lines up there. 
Northern service and we're now arriving back on a Northern service so considering only three a day that's uh, quite an achievement I think without even attempting to do it Oh, we've a few getting on and off. They give you the small end to drive in, haven't they? Yeah, they should have marched the other way around. Put them back to 155s, I would. Yes, I certainly would. They should never have been split in the first place. Oh, was a trans pennant coming down. Is it stopping or not? No, it's not, is it? It's going too fast. Hull! I see a single yellow. Well, I've got doubles on hulls. Day. Right, so yes, anyway, um, we walked about, how many miles have we walked, roughly? About seven to eight in total, around, uh, obviously from Chapel on the Frith to um, Chinley and then Grindleford and then a bit of Edale, so I didn't record the Edale, it's not much at all there. Anyway, let's get back home now, so uh, cue music and see you next video, bye.